G'day, we're doing top dressing ops in Central North Island, New Zealand. This is how you do 100 flights a day. Brakes release, we'll start our timer here. Set our power for takeoff, we roll down the strip. Got to be wary of wires off the end. And the front's just come through, so we've got a little bit of drizzle as well. The block's off to our right, but we'll veer left to give ourselves a nice gentle turn onto our run. You can see on our light bar the numbers counting down. Use that as a guide. Raise the flaps there, bring our power back to max continuous. Start our turn on our run. Wave to Jared off the left. Nice and gentle on the controls because we are overloaded. Just lining up now. Over the fence, open the doors, blue lights are on. Check the mirrors. Keep bringing that power back to max continuous. We're in a climb here. We don't want to go below 90 knots. Keep a bit of extra power on just because we are getting slow. And as we near the top of the block here, take a good look at the weather. The front has passed but we'll keep an eye on it anyway. Start bringing our power back more as we cross the ridge. That's the end of our run. Just over a minute gone. Got 900 kilos out, 900 to go. Advance our swap to the next run. Check outside visually where we want to end up and cross-reference that with the light bar. Numbers counting down there, we'll start levelling off. A little bit more drizzle here. Once we cross the end of the bush, we'll open up again. And we're also about to start our downhill, so we'll need to bring the power back. And as well, we're on short finals as we are, so we need to set ourselves up for landing too. There's a house and a wall shed down below us to be wary of be the last of our load here. Power back, turn on to short finals. Line us up, wash off our speed. We don't use flat for landing, we keep our elevator authority. And as we hit the two minute mark, flare and touch down. A little bit of beta, gently on the brakes, can be a little bit slippy. Just over two minutes on the clock, we're doing well. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tight turn around here, we've just got to mind our right wing tip. We don't want to hit the bank or the bin. Ease her around, check the windsock, line up with the truck. We'll keep the time going to keep it fair. Go from brakes release to brakes release. Two and a half minutes now, easy peasy. So now we can relax for a bit. Take another nosy of the weather, do our checks. Yes, and shout out to all those who spotted and commented on the Sony Explode CD player. Who knew they were that popular? You'll be pleased to know it skips the CDs even when flying. They've since been upgraded too, so no more playing mixed tapes of Top Gun's greatest hits. But that's it, less than three minutes, one load. Do the math and you'll see it's actually a lot more than 100 loads we can do in a day, and quite frequently do. We'll go through another load real quick, because why not? It's a bit hard to spot the wire that goes beneath us now. It's not great, but it's not too bad with the airstrip as long and as good as it is. The weather isn't the greatest. We've got a low cloud base to be wary of and scattered drizzle. However, with good understanding of local weather patterns and access to the latest weather info, we know we're flying in safe conditions for myself, my team, and my aircraft. Safety is always our main priority and in the forefront of our minds. A little bit off lining up on that run there. We've got our power sorted and our speed. Keep an eye on that as we go. But we're over the top of the hill now. It's pretty plain sailing. The ridge coming up will be the end of our run. You'll see on the joystick right hand, once we cross that line, I'll press a button with my thumb just there. That advances our GPS to the next swath. And we'll swing around and line ourselves up. Hopefully better than last time. A few light bumps there, nothing too serious. Bring the power back just a little bit. Cross the bush, open the doors, blue lights are on. Check our mirrors. About to head downhill, start bringing the power right back to idle. You can see the house below us and to the left. Now air speed's still quite high, just shy of 120 knots. We want to be touching down around about 60, so there's a bit of speed to wash off. See the power pole just below there on the left. 
line us up, flare and touchdown. Going a little bit faster, I think. But having to use a bit more reverse than normal. Gently swing her around. Look back where I came from. Check the truck. Right hand is opening the lid there. That's the drawstring. You can see me pulling. And do all our checks as usual. And that is us. I hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a great day. Hooroo.